Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today I'm going to do something that I, I don't think I've ever done on this channel, and we are going to unbox something together. I've never, I'm not a big unboxer, but today we just got our kit from the Kind Bee Farms. We're going to unbox this thing. I'm going to read through what it's all about. We're going to get it set up, and then I'm going to take you guys along in several uh, subsequent videos on how this thing works out. And so let me show you what's in the box, what it is, and why we have it. All right, I don't know what's in here either, so we're going to find out together. All right, so this has, this is the what the, the bee house looks like. And so there's all these nesting tubes in here. And the uh, they're going to hatch out. So they're not alive yet. They're just uh, uh, either larvae or eggs. I'm not sure. So let's see. What do we need to do here? All right, so it says we need to keep them around uh, flowers and other things, which we're going to keep them in our garden. And it says to keep them dry. So we won't put them in a place where we run our sprinkler. Our sprinkler. But... Are these the, what is this? Is this the actual, this must be food or sticks or something. What is this? I don't know. Those must be bee cocoons. They, they must be, it looks like sticks. Interesting. Okay, so let's, let's get this, uh, let's get the house out. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. All right, so we moved into a shadier location here. Everything was getting kind of hot. So, so this is the house that they come with. And it looks like this is where they'll make a nest or, or more cocoons. And basically, it looks like we just have to put the, the cocoons that they sent us up on the top here. We'll take the lid off and put it in their, their new home. And just kind of let them hatch out. It says it takes a few weeks. It could could be as soon as a week. Could be a little longer than that. And so let's uh, yeah, let's get this set up. So the the little house here it has a little hook on the back. But what I think we'll do is we'll let's put a post in the ground and get this mounted kind of nice uh, out of the weather. And we'll find a good spot for it here in the garden so we get good pollination. So we're out here in the in the kitchen garden. Everything's looking looking pretty good out here. And I think this is a good spot to have our, our pollinators. So we have the, the popcorn patch, uh, update on that here soon. And then we have our uh, cool weather crops that we haven't planted out yet. We'll plant those out a little bit later in, in the season. So I think that right over here in this kind of shaded corner is a good spot for our, our little bee house. It gets good morning sun, but you can see it's kind of shaded here in the, in the middle of the day. It's about one, two o'clock right now. And so I think this is a good spot. It says they need morning sun, but not, uh, not sun all day long. So not like out in the middle of a field. So I found an old four x four out in the, uh, in the barn and I got my post hole digger. So let's uh, pick a spot right in here. We'll, we'll put that post in the ground and get our little house mounted. Seems like a good, uh, good enough spot as any. So the, the whole idea with with the leaf cutter bees is that they're a, a, a very docile bee. They do have stingers, but they don't they don't tend to really sting, from what I understand. Uh, even if you really, I mean, if you're squishing it, maybe it would sting you, or you're killing them, something like that. But other than that, they don't really sting, and I guess their stingers really doesn't hurt that much. So good bees to have in the garden, and they also are really good pollinators. So they they are supposed to be better than honey bees at pollinating flowers and things so we always need good pollinators in the garden that is the one of the, the biggest things especially with squash um, and other types of uh, non self pollinating type plants most of our stuff you know a lot of the, the stuff that has a male and female uh, flower you know built together uh, pe bell peppers and I think even a lot of our tomato varieties and stuff uh, but uh, squash, your pumpkins, uh, a lot of other plants in the garden, they are going to do a lot better. You're going to get way more fruit if you have some good pollinators around. I noticed that when we had our honeybees and I noticed it back in our, in our pumpkin patch. Uh, when I put, I put a bumblebee hive out there and uh, they, did, they did really well. I mean I, mean, I noticed in, in just a couple days the uh, fruit set out there was, was doubled. So it makes a huge difference to have, have good pollinators in the, in the garden. So these, these leaf cutters are a welcomed, welcomed addition here. 
probably going to hit tree roots <laughs> for sure. Looks just like their picture. Must be right. Well, it'll be interesting to see uh, these guys hatch out. It says that they, they hatch out within a couple weeks and then they're gonna start immediately making nests. Uh, they collect little pieces of leaves and they've got this maple tree right above here that they can they can collect all they want. I guess some of them like maple leaves and that. So uh, they can they collect little little pieces of leaves and they make their cocoons and they lay their, uh, their young in these little tubes and they continue to multiply and and all the while they uh, are pollinating, they collect pollen to feed. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how far they travel around the yard, uh, how much they pollinate, how many of them there are. Uh, this is a pretty cool, I've never seen anything like this, so it's pretty neat. I did have the bumblebee hive last year, which was uh, something very unique. It was uh, the bumblebee kits, but those are pretty expensive. Uh, these are a lot less expensive, these kits from this company. And I'll put a link in the description to, to these guys. It's, uh, they're up in Canada. Um, and it's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea, I think. So. Uh, they're, they're called the kind bees because they, uh, they don't really sting and, and they're, they're, they're friendly, you know, they're very docile so the kids can come and check them out and you'll see them landing in here and stuff. So I'll do an update when, uh, when we've got some bees in here in a couple weeks and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. But what a great way to pollinate the garden and not have to deal with honeybees and hives and, uh, you know, bee suits and all that other stuff. It's a great way to add pollination to your garden uh, very easily. So check these guys out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the quick uh, quick video today. Look for the update coming in a few weeks so you can see how everything turned out. And uh, don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video or subscribe if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel. Lots of gardening things and uh, lots more gardening things coming up actually. I'll update you guys on the popcorn patch here pretty soon. We're gonna have to make some changes uh, Changes here. You can see uh, probably not too much popcorn. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a future video as well. Stay tuned for more. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.